Riona, you are with Magna X. You're the CTO, and you've got a uh, new uh, new aircraft behind us that is uh, all electric. The E Beaver. Can you give me a little idea what the E Beaver is, where it came from, and where you're at in the design process? Absolutely, yeah. So the E Beaver is the world's first commercial electric aircraft ever to fly. We've been flying it now for five years. Our first flight was on the 10th of December 2019, and since then we've done 89 flights. And so we've really put the aircraft through its paces. We're on the second generation of the battery technology, and then working on the third generation to enter into certification with the aircraft. And you've partnered with Harbor Air, is that correct? How's that partnership set up? The partnership started just by two companies, really pioneering companies, who wanted to make this happen. We signed a contract and 11 months later we flew. And that partnership has just gone from strength to strength. We've been really working together to prove out the technology and work towards certification of the technology through the FAA on the Magni X side and Transport Canada on the Harbour Air side. From a performance standpoint, in comparison of the electric system versus a traditional system, what do you see uh, equivalence better? Yeah, so with the battery technology, obviously, your range is limited. Right? So we say that with this, we can do an hour's flight, including our reserves. And that really depends on the configuration of the aircraft. So when we quote an hour's flight with reserves, that's with five passengers and a pilot on board. You can choose to change your battery configuration, perhaps fly with less passengers and get further range. So it's really interesting how you can actually tune this system like you would fill it with more or less fuel. Some of the performance aspects of the aircraft are really interesting. So Harbour Air have been doing a lot of testing to really understand uh, how much power you actually need to keep the aircraft in the air. And so that they see in cruise, compared to the radial engine, which requires 63% thrust setting in cruise, for the e beaver we only require 41%. And so just the overall efficiency of this system, the aerodynamics with the electric engine on the front instead of the radial engine is just incredible in comparison to what we ever expected it to be. And then also the climb performance is, is basically double. So, I mean, this thing takes, I mean, it's a beaver, right? A beaver is not known for its climb performance, but <laughs> this electric beaver climbs better than any beaver you'll, you'll ever fly. Um, so yeah, I think it's just a real joy to fly. And it's also 20 decibels quieter, much quieter than this, uh, in every phase of flight. So you still have a propeller, it's, you still have noise, but yeah, significantly quieter in all phases of flight. So looking into the future, where do you see this uh, going and what, what are your goals over the next uh, three to five years with this product? So I think if you step back in history, right, we've been flying this aircraft for five years. We're at a point now, five years later, the battery performance has basically doubled. So that means that we're at a point where this is now actually commercially viable. We can put five passengers on a paid flight with a 30 minute flight, which is what Harbour Air actually used the aircraft for. So we're now at the point where the aircraft can do everything that Harbour Air needed to do. And so what we're working on now is the configuration for certification. So we're working on the engine type certificate and then the cross-validation in Transport Canada and then the actual supplemental type certificate of the aircraft and entry into service. So we're targeting entry into service in 2027 and really, you know, start using it as a real commercial aircraft and start taking you know, fee-paying passengers on this thing. And then Harbour Air will convert all 12 of their beavers that they have today to electric, and then they will start performing conversions for other paying customers. Rihanna, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It sounds fantastic innovation in the electric aviation world. So for Aero News Network at Oshkosh 2024, this is Rex Alexander.